All right, you guys. I think this is just a little power more style engine. Uh, the actual uh, stop cable is okay. It was so stiff, as you guys have probably seen, it bent the flimsy stop cable handle. So right now, I'm going to just tie wrap that uh, stop cable brake open so we can run it and uh, just see how it goes. Don't know what's, I have no idea how much is wrong with it. I'm going to just turn it on its side. I'm going to watch my wife's car, right? And I'm going to try and close this bale, whatever you want to call it. Put it through the hole. I can't. I'm just tie wrapping this together is all I'm doing. That should do it. It should start. Believe it or not, if we slot some go juice into this hole here, this is just the start of the whole show, right? And it should bark and stay running, maybe. Well, it has fuel. There's no shut off. I'm going to continue to uh, try and do this now that it's fired. It might just catch. Can you see any of this? Uh, some, eh? really way too much force like if you look at how easily this thing slides back and forth it's still bent this here from the force of the on off switch I just straightened it in the vise but it's weak here now so I might just take my welder and add a layer here and a layer here uh, you can see if you look really close that it's lost its paint right there. So, we got to start. And look at this, you guys. I'll turn this around. He had this... He had this permanently wired up with tie wraps up that high. And then the muffler melted this permanently open. I don't know. That's not safe. But I've got the exact one there, look at that, in my hoard. So that's cool. So we might be able to make this thing go. That'd be kind of fun, wouldn't it? Okay, my friends. Um, I got this little guy running the other day. That's it. So obviously it needs a new exhaust door, which I have. I think I showed you that. Exactly the same one, man. Huh? Look at that. And this one was held up so long, I think I mentioned it, that the muffler carved it into a permanent opening. Which might be what the what the new owner wants. I have no idea. But because there's no other door on here, 
right? There's no back mulch. That's it. So it either mulches or side shoots. But I want to have a look at the gas. So the gas is pretty crappy. Let's suck the rest of it out. It's old icky poo poo fuel. Now, is there any water in it? Okay, let's just have a look. It's at least two years old. There could be a little water in it. Let's take the air filter off for now. And we're gonna put some we're gonna put some uh, fresh gas in it. And just let it run for a few minutes and see if that helps. One one thousand, two one thousand, three one thousand, four one thousand. It's good enough. Okay, I'm still going to have to pull the plug. Hey, I'm going to pull the plug on this operation. There, it should start. pulling the plug. Okay, I'm going to jack it back up again and just have a look at the, uh, I'm going to take the bowl off the carburetor. So you guys got some of that, I think, eh? Let's lift you back up. I'm debating what to do here. Do I just yank that carburetor off and give it a, a Bruce clean? That's a word now, Bruce clean. Look it up. It's in a small engine dictionary. 10 millimeter. I'm going to take the carburetor out. Why not, eh? Oh, Papa Sam. More goo and schmoo. Okay. Parts. off though. I don't like schmoo, eh? There's the primer lead. That's right. so simple, right? Why didn't Honda adapt that? They might be now. I'm usually three years behind the times out here in the front here. Now, Pliers for sale or rent. Rooms to rent. Whew. Pliers to 
take the line off here. going to uh, get my little clear dish <clears throat> and we're going to take a midstream sample out of that tank. Good. Yeah, I got some, I got some dirt right out of the fuel line. Eh? Yeah, that comes off. And then I should be able to just undo the throttle and the spring. This is so actually pretty darn sweet to work on that. That's how fast that carburetor came on. Okay, tray. Ten mil. Are you with me now? Yes, you are. Kind of. Good. Let's just have a look inside this carburetor. I expect some ugliness in here. Although it was running pretty darn good for ugly. seats okay because it's not leaking right and it's letting fuel through so I'm expecting just a dirty emulsion tube there hey everything popped out okay the main jet is dirty And so is the emotion too. Good. Doctor kit. Oh, I'm going to use a piece of 20, 26 gauge wire on the jet. We'll poke it back the way it came in. Oh, that's even too small, eh? Okay. We'll use a. Uh, I think this came from Jim Yeski. Give him a little shot of air. Did I get anything out of it? Yes, I did. Oh, it's much bigger. All right. Okay, that should look really good now. Now, this guy. I'm going to blow air out of air first. That just might do it. One, two, three, four, five, six. Quarter of a turn. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, well, I'm going to poke it through each hole. Just about need my glasses for this, but I'm barely, kept, I'm barely keeping up, you guys. Okay, I did. So there's actually 10 holes in this one, and one up here. Now I should be able to shoot all 10 of those. I wonder if I can do it holding the end. One, two, three. Nope. They're not all clean. Okay. Blow it over there, and I'll see if I can see all ten holes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and through the center. Yes. So that's clean. Now let's just have a look at this little gaffer. There's the throttle there, so we should see some squirting here. See in one hole. Good. And through the through the primer. What a great little carburetor, man. Oh yeah. The idle circuit. I just about forgot that, you know. Where is it sitting? Two turns out.
What a great little carburetor. If I can squirt something out of the end here, not into your eyes. Yep, it's open. Now we just have to check the carburetor itself. Now, what side is that on? That's on that side. That should squirt up through there now. It does. Yeah! Okay, we need a little bit of gasoline just to drip these guys in there so they don't get ruined. There. And we'll push this back into place. That should be it. There's a D on the end of this, not a, not a regular slotted screwdriver, but it'll work. Okay, I'm going to put this guy back together. I am confident that it's going to run good now. And we got new gas in the tank, and I, 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 I did a midstream sample too, right? Okay, emulsion tube. Being as it wasn't leaking, we should have a pressure test to at least five pounds here. I have to see too, don't forget. It's holding at seven. Good. Once again, thank you, Ken. Ken Smart. Okay, without spending any money, I should be able to uh, get this one back together again. Let's see, it hangs down like that and like that. good. You know, I, I'm starting to wonder about these little engines. I think they're better than I thought they were, you know. Air in light amounts is your best friend. Okay, carburetor sits like that, sits like that, sits like that. Bolt. And I'll just pop this back on the engine like you saw it come off. We'll see what's up. I gotta clean up the intake. This guy a little bit. Thanks. Okay, I've just placed the carburetor on. There's only one way for the gasket to go. I started it this way. I just had to turn it, and that lines up all the little grooves and marks. The fuel line is on. Now I'm just lining up the primer button with the the primer line. And where did this go? Oh, there's a vent right there. Isn't that sweet? Okay, so we put the primer line on and we stick. This is the only tricky part to this one. The vent to the crankcase. You might need a needle nose pliers for that. Oh, you know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the vent on first. Is that all there is to that? I guess so. And then we just stick her on. Oh, it's a multiple pull off, fall off. Every, every machine has its tricks, right? Gasket, and see now it's getting tricky all of a sudden. 
That's funny. Here. That should be on. I can feel it. That's good. 210 millimeters, just like when we started. And it should already have gas in it. It should fire up and run like a rocket ship now. Are you ready? Oop. I don't normally start them this high up, but I'm gonna. It should just run like a rocket now. Okay, so now it runs. I'm not worried about the oil or I guess I can have a quick look at the blade now. Oh, the blade is hurt. The blade is really hurt. They hit something bad. I almost want to have a look at the flywheel, but it's running so darn good, right? Okay, so the next problem, I guess, would be the on-off bail. And what the problem is, is that it bent in here, on that skinny little spot right there, right where the wire, where the cable goes through. You can even see where the paint has been coming off. So I'm actually just tempted to run a bead across here and across here. I don't like to say across. Across here and across here. And uh, that might just solidify. Boy, that, that's almost ready to break, you know. So I'm just going to get the paint off this and we'll go to plan B. Thank you.